Well, I've got another old gaming find for you today. Um, I was cleaning out our back room, consolidating some storage boxes, and I found the manual to Day of the Tentacle, which is the sequel to Maniac Mansion. Um, so I don't have the box or the discs anymore. I used to have the, the big PC box. Uh, let's see, this is uh, 1993. So, LucasArts, and this was back when you actually got manuals with artwork in them. So the setup is that the purple tentacle got in the toxic waste that was at the Maniac Mansion, blah, blah, blah. This one you play as three different characters, only one of them from the first game. So you play as Bernard, Hoagie, and Laverne. Um, but here's the most interesting part, copy protection. Um, for those of you playing from a compact disc, ignore this. It doesn't exist. These aren't the droids you're looking for. Move along. But if you're playing from three and a half inch floppies, which was the case back then, um, they were worried that people were w would copy the discs. So um, from time to time, you have to enter the proportions for plans for a super battery, and they're down here. And if I remember right, let's see... The patent number match the beaker levels and the crouton positions. These are supposed to be croutons on sticks or on toothpicks. So it would give you a code and you'd have to turn to that page and then tell him like which way the, the chemicals are and how many croutons. And then it would let you continue playing. So that's something uh, you don't see much anymore. Looks like the staples have discolored the page a little bit. Our historical accuracy policy. We don't have one. <laughs> they included the entire original Maniac Mansion using the computer in one of the rooms in the game. And the whole thing runs on the scum story system. And if you don't know what that is, look it up. There's a bunch of games you can play on Scum emulators, um, but they're mainly point-and-click and text entry adventures. But man, this is a throwback special. Thanks to George Lucas. Well, that's a short one, but I, I found that and I thought I'd share because uh, you don't see stuff like this every day. So kind of neat. I, I'm glad that the... Uh, the front hasn't faded too bad. The you know it's yellowed a little on the interior, but still pretty nice. I should find something protective to put that in and keep it.